underway. Can Evil O make history? Can Matt G make a name for himself? The Big Apple, the site of this first game. Big shout out to everybody watching on Twitch, YouTube, and our various streaming platforms. We are so happy to have you guys along with us. Uh, TD, it's Evil O on offense first. And let, let's, let's address the elephant in the room. EMP struggled a little bit here in the tournament so far. Uh, Evil O looking to get them on, back on the right track. Yeah, when I talked to him last night, he pointed that out. He said, we need this win badly. I believe they're 1-2 and two or 1-3 and three so far in clubs, with young Tony being the only EMB player to get a win. So in order to get on track, you know, they got Joke, Little Man, uh, VY coming up. So the EMB crew is going to have to get this win from Evil O today. Yeah, you look at those four names, Evil O, VY, Joke, and Little Man. That's veteran presence. That's experience. Not just in the clubs, in the MCS. They're going to look to lean on that as we go through the divisions in the NFL. First down, handoff, Reggie Bush. Listen, Reggie Bush is a legend, but he, he can't fight through four unblocked defenders coming into play. A little bit of run defense. No, he cannot. And Evil O said, you know, I'm, I'm usually known as a runner, but in this tournament, you're going to see me pass the ball a little more. Now, will that work out for Evil? He's more of a conservative player. We'll have to find out. Saying 11, Dante Culpepper at the helm for Evil O, and he'll find Terry McLaurin. It's weird seeing McLaurin running something that's not deep down the field. <laughs> Definitely, but one of my favorite route combos, that post-hitch combo. You saw Matty G bit back on the post. He's able to check down to the hitch for a nice little four-yard gain. Third and five already. Look for another post route from the tight end. There's a post route. It's well covered by Taylor Mays. Good defense all around. Looking for a playmaker, but Dante Culpepper is run down from behind, losing two and an early fourth down opportunity for Matt G to get off the field. Great defense from Matty G. Great user ability. And Evil O said he's going to pass a lot, and it's not working out for him. But I'm surprised. He's usually a conservative player. He's not going to punch trust his defense. He's going to go for it. Maybe looking to set the tone. Play clock running down. Culpepper will take the snap. Fakes the user rush. On, looking deep down the field into double coverage. He's actually happy that that's not picked off because it'll be great field position. Matt G with the first stop of the game. Not a good read right there. I thought he might have had the post coming to the sideline. Matty G wasn't was kind of underneath it. I thought if with the pass lead he might have had him. He forces it to the tight end on a streak and double coverage, and just not a good read. Matty G now takes advantage, and this is this would be an upset here if Matty G did get the win because I think a lot of people uh, predicted Evil O. You know he's the veteran, but Matty G, young talented player. Um, like I said, I see him in a few underground tournaments where he's made a little bit of noise, but he, this is his first MCS major, so he told me he's nervous, but he's excited for this opportunity to be on the live stage. And you know, it sort of reminds me of when we saw TD Barrett play. We saw him sort of try to shake those nerves early, and can a stop like this get some of those nerves to, to sort of settle down and get you settled into the game? Without a doubt. You know, when you get on defense first and you get that stop and then you have the ball at the opponent's 29-yard line on your first drive, even if you come away with three points here, your confidence is through the roof. He's going to be running Josh Allen, former Wyoming Cowboy, current Buffalo Bill. At quarterback, and he'll start off. Simple, easy handoff. Reggie Bush will get two. And you'll see Matty G in the Seattle Seahawks offensive playbook. You don't see it too often, but it is a very good playbook. I know a lot of other pros that run it. It has a lot of different shotguns that you can go to. It also has some power formations uh, under center that you can go to. So you see him coming out in this gun bunch. Look for him to flip, make a lot of hot roads. He is like he does like this gun bunch, and he's talented when it comes to passing the ball. Metcalf in motion. As Allen drops back to pass on second and eight, and he'll find DK Metcalf. Underneath, only a yard. And you know, TD, listen, Evil O, he gets stopped early, but you know his defense is going to be one of his strengths. Yeah, and, and, and Evil O labs with Joke, and you guys know Joke in the community he won the Madden Bowl last year. Joke was actually a groomsman. He was in Evil O's wedding. These guys are best friends in real life outside of Madden as well. So you know that Joke is going to have Evil prepared as best he can for this matchup. Back to the bunch goes Matt G, third and seven. Three-man rush from Evil O. As Allen's going to try to take off, but he is spied. And you saw the instant regret as he tried to scramble. Seeing that spy, DRC, with the sack. Phenomenal defense by the veteran. Goes with the man coverage. Pretty much a coverage defense, only rushing two. Matty G had nothing open. He takes the sack. But if you're Matty G, you're feeling good. Your nerves are kind of uh, down a little bit. You got that stop. You take your three, and you get back on defense. Three-nothing. Early lead, plenty of time left as we're under two to go in the first quarter. We'll see for the first time. We'll see Evil O come out 
off that stop, <clears throat> TD, what do you expect to see from his offense on this drive? I want to see him go back to the ground game. Listen, I know he said he wants to pass more in this game, but you're known as a balanced player. First down, don't try to get ahead of yourself. Go to the I-form, run some power O's. You see him in his Vegas Raiders playbook coming in that trips tight end. He's going to pass it. This time he finds the tight end. Finally, I think it was twice we've seen that post start. He hasn't thrown to it yet. Finally finding Vernon Davis for 18. Yeah, sticking with that same concept. Uh, Post-hitch combo. Goes to the post that time. I like it, but he's sticking to the pass game. Culpepper. Come on. Running right. Culpepper sitting down. Matt G's defense against standing tall. There's that man, Taylor Mays, getting involved. Defensive battle so far. It looked like Evil might have had the post there, but he kind of scrambled right. You don't want to throw it across your body. So he rolls out, just takes the sack. Second and 12, staying in that trips tight end, using some motion. Jam McLaurin in motion. That's Culpepper. Good coverage. Look at left side, though. Ooh, that was a tight window throw, but Terry McLaurin comes up with the catch. It's a first down for the two-time champ. That was a tight window and a super dot, but Matty G playing some good defense. If you saw, I don't know if that was a three wreck or a hook zone or what, but it really played that route really well. And then at the last second, he's able to get it in there. But man, both these guys playing some high level Madden. Oh, run play on first down, try to establish that ground game. Ocho Cinco, Saquon. Terry McLaurin, he, Vernon Davis, good wide receiving oh. core, as that's a diving catch. That man making plays. How about EMPs? The Evil O might be down 3 nothing at the end of the first, but he's down to the 12-yard line. Super laser right there, a crossing route. You're going to see that concept a lot in that trips tight end set. You <clears> usually <throat> see the inside slot receiver on that crossing route, getting to the sidelines, gets behind the zones. Evil O with a nice completion. He's down to the 12, and he's coming out in single back three tight end. You don't see this a lot. This is 1,000% going to be a run play. Single back wing pair formation. Three tight ends on the right side. Scary Terry, the lone wide receiver. It's a handoff to Bush so far. How impressive has Matt G's defense, especially in the run game, been? Yeah, and especially when you get to the red zone. This is where it gets tough. And, and Nick, I think you would agree, you know, since that patch where we really saw Stretch be toned down, man, it's tough to find some good run plays. You see Evil always been going some power O's. Right there he goes to a little quick kind of inside zone. And, just nothing doing. So red zone now, we, so far in this tournament, the last few weeks, we haven't seen a lot of great red zone passing because Evil O has mm. something cooked up. And that's also what has made red zone so hard to score is that run game. Not nearly as effective, and we know how tough it is to pass the ball when the field gets shortened. Sprinkle in motion. I love sprinkles. Just love cool. Sprinkle on your ice cream sundae. Speaking of ice cream sundae, that's a sweet treat for Reggie Bush. Into the end zone. Evil O's on the board. Reggie Bush, the former Trojan, gets in the end zone. It was just a simple halfback dive. He breaks a tackle, uh, shakes him off, gets into the end zone. Evil, that's what he needed. When you're in the red zone, you can't have threes. You got to turn those into sevens. That's exactly what Evil did. And now he's back in control. Maybe the, this first little bit of adversity Matt G is going to face started out fantastically with that stop, got a field goal, but now facing his first deficit. How do you expect the young player in his first MCS Live final to uh, to handle this sort of pressure? Yeah, this is where we'll really see what the kid is made of. You know, that he got the first defensive stop, which was great, but they didn't really have to do much on offense. He was already in field goal range. So now we'll see what he has. You know, this is the first type of adversity, but I do think his nerves are calmed down after that first drive as you see first time club finalist but I expect him to mix it up he's a balanced player he likes to run a little bit but uh, you're gonna see him in this gun bunch look for a little, me little mesh post here with a post out a couple drags underneath second down to nine Allen Come he'll throw this one away oh, and TD talking to Matty G this is a guy who kind of similar to Dat Boy doesn't really have a crew he's just uh, on that grind trying to qualify himself yeah, he told us, you know, he labs with himself. He doesn't really, he just plays a lot of games online to get prepared for this event. He doesn't have any crew members to get him ready. And you can see the difference in that because Evil O looks very prepared on defense. Everything that Matty G wants to go to is pretty much covered by Evil. Third and nine. It is Buffalo Bill Josh Allen. Driving oh back my goodness. Right side, Nick. and that's not going to be in bounds. He, he had a touchdown. The X receiver was on a streak wide open. The, he, Evil played cover two and had no one over the top. Oh, my goodness. He missed the easiest touchdown I've ever seen, Nick. 
Don't don't tell him. He, he looks fairly composed right now, but if you tell him that, his nerves might pick up a little bit. Fourth and three. Allen, two-man rush from me below. Everything is covered. He's going to look for a bounce. He might throw it wide. Can he get Nothing. it there, though? It is on, incomplete, man. and Evil O gets a stop. Oh, my goodness. That is so unfortunate for Matty G. The play before had an easy touchdown on the left bunch receiver, and right there, Evil O tightens up. Kind of a tight window on that angle up to the running back, and he's not able to complete it. But if you're Matty G, you had the opportunity, but now Evil O getting back on offense and he, he feels good even though he like I said he likes to play conservative he just wants to get the lead here well, he has to lead but he wants to get up seven if he can probably and punch this in then he's gonna feel really yeah, confident going on defense one thing that I feel like EMB is as good at, as a crew as anybody <laughs> is is shortening the game and and forcing your opponents to be perfect on their possessions because they just run the ball so effectively oh yeah they're so balanced you know, we saw Joke last year. He loves to run the ball. DY loves to run the ball. And then they're really good on defense. As you see him here, just breaking a big inside zone. But yeah, they're very, they, especially Evil O's game, he likes to play defense and run the ball. And the elder statesman of Elite Madden, Evil O, looking to get EMP back on the right track with a win today. Down to the 11 yard line. He's going to go, why not? I form close. Gives it to Bush, and Bush gets absolutely leveled in the backfield. Taylor Mays bringing the thunder. That's exactly why you get that Taylor Mays on your team. How many times have we seen him in this tournament with that user ability? Boom, big hit stick in the backfield. Take it to the two-minute warning. Second down and 13. Close ball game here in the Big Apple. Gives it to Bush. You know, you're seeing Evo having much more success running out of that shotgun than he is in the in the I form or even the single back formations. Yeah, I love the adjustment he's making. You know, you see Matty G kind of in that 3-3-5 uh, wide defense, kind of vulnerable to inside zones. Evo recognizing that. He's able to pick up a chunk plays. I wouldn't I wouldn't be surprised to see Evo maybe stick to the ground game here. Uh, make, force Matty G to use that timeout, take your three. He's a conservative player. I think he's going to go to stretch the outside. Stretch run to Bush. No. I need a user play. Oh, Bush got a little, little hezzy, and he's into the end zone. Might be the most impressive nine yard run we've seen in the tournament. Oh, man, it looked like he had nothing going, just a little hesitation, a little stop and go, and that was a huge run for Evil O because he was just cool with taking his three, going up seven, and now he kind of blows it open, goes up two possessions. You see Matty G shaking his head. Evil O with a big run. Kick is away, and now you want to talk about pressure. As we look at this one more time, just a little, just tapped on the brakes. It hits the end zone, and you want to talk about pressure now on Matt G. Bet you those nerves are are creeping up on him now, down 14 to three to the two-time champ. Yeah, that hurts if you're Matty G because you thought you had him hold him to a field goal. It was a one-on-one -on -one in the backfield, and now he's really in a desperate situation. You got to get down the field. You got to get some points here. G, New York native. Come here. Nowhere to go. What is Evil O doing defensively that is, is causing Matt G problems? Yeah, you know, I don't love what Matty G's doing. I think Matty G's kind of confused with the coverage he's, he's running because Evil O's switching up a little bit. He's going with a combo zone man, but right there was straight man, and Matty G went to a zone beater. He went with that Z spot kind of flood concept to the sidelines, and that's just not going to work a lot of times on the corner out versus man to man when you have the kind of roster that Evil O has on defense. And man, he's got him in the complete bag. I love the way Evil O is mixing up his coverages, he's disguising it well. Third and fourth. Three man rush. Allen looking for the shot over the top. Can he get it to DK? He can. There we go for Matt G. Finally finds something over the top. He's in scoring range. Yeah, we just talked about straight man to man. Well, that's why you get DK Metcalf on your team. A post route, one on one, down the middle of the field, beats him, and uh, just lobs it over the top. Too much speed, big play, and Matty G needed that badly. 12th man, stand up for your boy. First and 10, Allen stepping left oh in God. trouble. And down God. goes Allen. There goes that man. Might be the most talented pass rusher we have seen. Lawrence Taylor with the sack. Lawrence Taylor, probably one of the best mutt players every year you can get on your team. Matty G went with that flood concept, looking for that smart, that slot receiver on that smart routed uh, outside out route. Evil O was all over it. 
Allen, second and 13. Oh, my. Oh, oh man. Well, this one away. Once again, great defense from oh. EMP Z below. Excellent defense right there by Evil. You know, he went with man, but he saw the motion slant was coming. He had the perfect zone in the perfect spot to be ready for that slant. And now a big third and 13 here. If you're mad at G, you got to think you're going to try to convert this, you know, but you don't want to turn the ball over. Raheem Mostert now out there. Waller, McLaurin, and Metcalf. Allen stepping oh up, God. trying to take off. Balls out, oh, takes a hit. Oh. It's just sitting there finally. An offensive oh. lineman scoops it up. Could have been disastrous oh for Matt G. God. Oh, really scary right there for Matty G. The one thing you didn't want to do is turn it over. Very fortunate to hang on to that running with this quarterback. But, man, I'm impressed with the defense Evolo is trotting out there. I mean, he has everything that Matty G wants to do completely in a bag. But Matty G does stay in the game here, kicking his field goal only down eight. But, man, Evolo's defense has been phenomenal. Can we talk about what, what's he drinking? Has he got some Ecto Cooler in a glass on the desk? Can we talk about that? Yeah, is that, is that Michael's secret stuff? And you see the, the poster behind him, too, just the football field, the football. Interesting background right behind the bed. You see Evil rocking all the Giants uh, <laughs> memorabilia back there. But, yeah, I don't know what's in the cup, Nick. We need to figure it what's out. What's in the cup? What's in the cup? I didn't know they made Ecto Cooler anymore. All the, all the, all the young people in chat are like, what? Ecto Cooler? <laughs> I don't want to chat if you're a 90s baby. Who remembers Ecto Cooler? Hanging down at two. Evil dropping back. Evil in trouble. He'll take an intentional grounding. 17 seconds left. That's going to stop the clock. Depending on what happens here, Matt G can take a timeout and at least get a shot at the punt return. Yeah, probably not major, but kind of bad clock management right there by Evil. I would have just ran the ball, come out, run it three times. Now Matty G is going to be able to use this timeout. He's going to force a punt. You know, it's going to be slim, but you never know. You get a decent return, you get a bad punt, you can possibly get a field goal. I don't like the decisions right there by Evil to try to pass and throw it away and get a grounding. I would have just ran the ball three times. What's important, TD, is that there is no fluke in Madden, right? Like, it never happens. I've never seen anything weird go on in the game. End of half. Yes. Luke is a part of the game. You just got to adapt. Eight seconds left. Very possible we had the field goal range here too, but it has to be a sideline route. Allen in trouble. No. Just gets rid of it. That's a field goal. Oh. Matt G knows he had the route to get the field goal range. Oh Problem is, his O line didn't hold up. Yeah, so he thinks he had the C route to the sidelines. He might have had it, would have been a tight throw, but that would have got him in field goal range. You see him here just trying to make a play now with this run. Hand off up the middle. Field That's goal. Bush. Good game, right. but we'll hit zeros on the clock and we'll go to halftime. 14 to 6. Evil O got stopped on that first All drive, right. TD, but he's looked in control since then. Yeah, yeah, it's really, it's, it's been defense. Evil O has right. everything Matty he wants to do. He knows all the route combos that are coming out of that bunch, and his defense has been impressive, and that's why he has his eight-point lead. Kick is away. It will be Matt G getting the ball to start the second half. But it is EMB's Evil O, the three, the two-time champ, looking to become the three-time champ. 14-6 to six right now, staving off the upset bid from young Matt G. A reminder, guys, tonight is the moment you've all been waiting for. Quite possibly the biggest episode of Derwin James vs. The World, presented by Oakley, as Derwin takes on no one other than the D-O-double-G, Snoop Dogg in the house. You're not going to want to miss this one. That's tonight, 10 p.m. Eastern. Scott Cole, spokes player, Derwin, Snoop Dogg, TD, I'm tuned in. That's going to be a good game. Yeah, I'm fired up for that. Snoop Dogg has a lot of game. Let me tell you, I've seen him play a lot of times. This guy puts a lot of hours into Madden, so I think Derwin James can have his toughest test yet. Shout out my guy. I know Rico Williams watching at home. He, uh, he got the pleasure to, I think, play Snoop Dogg once, and I think Rico stopped playing Madden after that. <laughs> yep. <laughs> got to go over to Snoop Dogg's mansion, basically, over there, play some Madden with him. Shout out to Rico. Eight and six, right side. Oh, Reggie, once again, just getting clobbered. Picks up a first down. Yeah, big drive right here for the young Matty G. You know, 
This is your first MCS appearance. Nerves are going through the roof, but you're still in the game here. Put a drive together, and then you might think about going for two. You probably do try to, try to tie this thing up. No Talent first and 10. And there's a nice read. DK Metcalf with the catch. Evo Low bringing the lumber. Yeah, Matty G continuously tries to go to this Z spot and go play. And he thinks the C route is winning, but I, that looked covered to me. I mean, he might know something I don't, but that C route has not looked open, and he continuously tries to go back to it versus man to man. Yeah, if Matt G was listening, he'd be going, Ty, I made the catch, man. Like, could you, could you give me a break for a second? Yeah, but you just don't want to live like that. You know, you want clean progressions, you want clean reads, you want separation. And, man, if, if he's going to throw that all game and you're Evil O, you'll take that. <clears throat> Ty, if you're if you're Matt G here, are you okay walking away with three after this drive? Uh, no, you're really not. I mean, if worst comes to worst, it's okay. There's plenty of time, but really, you're trying to get you're trying to get eight. And underneath, okay. another catch from Metcalf. This is the most sustained passing attack we've seen from Matt G so far. Looks good right now. These windows are really tight, though, man. If you're Evil O, you're okay with giving this up. Bend, but don't break. These are tight windows. Matty G going to that mesh post, little drag route. Third inches. I would expect him to stay to the passing game here. Josh Allen, such a good year so far in the NFL. Play of the month in September. Two-time player of the week. And he's right now dotting up this defense. You're seeing a little more of these outward breaking routes getting open. That was a great oh. read right there. That was great patience. He waited, he waited. Finally, the slant got open at the last second. Couple yards of separation, and he fires it in there for a big first down. Oh. Stepping up all sorts of time. He'll take oh. off, and he'll pick up a first down. Oh. And you can oh. almost feel the confidence oh. rising oh. from young oh. Matty G oh. as he's in the red zone. Yeah, I think Nick, I think he's really kind of settled yeah, down. Yeah, he, he's making some great uh, reads. His his route combos are phenomenal here in the yeah, second half. Too. I think he's really settled down, and, and he's looking good on offense. But this is where it gets tough. Like we said, we saw Evil O punch in the red zone. Can Matty G do the same thing? Blue power rate fueling Matty G's upset bid. Looking underneath, takes a simple route, and that's a good guy to get the ball to Raheem Mostert. So much speed. Yeah, you see him trying to go to those motion drags a lot, trying to get some separation with that Moster. By using motion, you know, you kind of get him unbumped. He gets a couple yards. Second and six. I think uh, looks like he's going to go to a read option here. Not a bad play call in the red zone. You just don't want to fumble with your quarterback. Already fumbled once. Luckily, his own lineman picked it up. Second down at six. He'll hand it to Bush off the read option. Ronnie Lott out there Fight playing Reggie. defense. Fight. Bush fighting forward, picks Fight, up Reggie. three, third and two. Oh yeah, I think this might be four down territory for Matty G here. If, if he doesn't get a big one sack and lose a lot of yards, one. I think if it's if it's a fourth one and two or something, one. or if he doesn't convert this, I think one. he's gonna go for it. But let's see what he cooks up. Big third and two in the ball game right now. It's out dropping one. back to pass here in the red zone. Nobody's open. He's gonna try to take off with Allen. He Let's takes go. a hit with Allen. Picks up the first the down. Flu. Gutsy play from Josh Give Allen. Come on. Living life on the edge. You hear Matty G say, "Give me the fluke." Man, Evil O, look at him rolling his eyes. He's sick about it because, mm. you know, 90% of the time that's a fumble right there. Matty G stays alive and he, and he does pick up the first down. Oh, that's a big time play for Matty G. This time, went to the more traditional yeah, stretch no, run no, and no, talked no, about no, that no, patch. No, the defense time. plays no, so no. tough on those run plays. No, no, Fourth time, quarter, no, fours no. up in the chat. Evil O with the eight-point lead. Yeah, not a bad play no, guard no. there for Matty G. Goes with the three tight end stretch. Looked like he had a little bit of a hole, no. but here we go now. Fourth quarter time. You're on the four-yard line. You got to punch this in if you're Matty G. This is now four-down territory. You can't kick a field goal. Second and goal, he'll go to the dive, and how about the gap shoot by Evil O. This is not an easy person to run the ball on. Interesting call right there. Went with like a counter inside zone type of run. Evil O just shoots the gap, comes up with kind of a hit stick, and now he's back to the bunch on third and goal. You're going to think you're going to see some slants, a halfback angle route. He's going to try to low ball something across from over the middle. The scramble from Allen. It's been might have been his best oh, offense. Tight fun. window throw and McLaurin can't oh, hang on to it. Fourth and goal. 
the youngster looking to make a play to make history. Oh yeah, God. he had a step on him, then he kind of got oh. bumped at the last second. Wow. So Evil O's able to get the SWAT, and here we go. Oh, you got to go for this 100%. This isn't the, the game because there's plenty of time here. But if you're Matty G, you got to convert. If you're Evil O, mm. it's a big stand if you can make one happen. Here we go. What's he going to cook up on fourth and goal? Josh Allen takes the snap. Three-man rush. Oh, What's that same oh, round this time? The champ, Champ Bailey, picks oh, it off. Turnover oh, from Matt G. Oh, Evil O with a huge defensive stand. What a defensive stand. He went with the same exact oh, play. Evil O was ready God. for it. And that's why you get those acrobats on your field, Nick. You can see it. He lights up here. Able to get on and make a pick. Diving catch with Champ Bailey picked in the end zone. Huge play for Evil O on defense. Now Matt G needs a defensive stop. He was four yards from glory. Instead, he remains down eight, and Evil O goes to work. Reggie Bush for seven. Evil O sticking with that inside zone, which has been successful. You see Evil O, the two-time defending Giants Club champion, looking for a three-peat, which is very difficult to do. But, Nick, we didn't really talk about these abilities come into play, and you saw it there on that acrobat. That's why you need to be a, a mastermind when it comes to building your roster with these abilities. Good gap shoot from Matt G. Made the initial hit. And Taylor Mays seems to always be around those big defensive plays. Yeah, you see him right in the middle there. Taylor Mays got the X lit up under him. Matty G usering him. Third and three. He's gonna have to. It's gonna be a post uh, slant combo. Let's see if he can user it. That's Followed it. the drag just a step too long, and Evil O saying he's got play, some play, dots in his pocket. Defense. Picking up a first oh, down. That God. clock tick, tick, ticking away. Evil O not known for passing, but he steps up into the pocket. He's patient, waits for Maddie to bite on the slant, and he fires it into the post for a huge first down. Now we can use some more of this clock. We don't take it down under three minutes after this play. Bush nowhere to go. Loses the yard in the backfield. Oh TD, we God. said it at the beginning. So Evil O saying, EMB needs this one. Just get some of that confidence, that momentum working the right way. Yeah, they do. And, you know, because looking forward, you think Little Man playing next week, going up against Spoto, which is going to be a, an insane matchup. And then you got Joke in a few weeks. So he's trying to get EMB on the right track here. Oh Pass underneath. And also, VY Electrify will be in a couple weeks as well. Oh Young Tony, the lone Ooh, EMP okay. member to win his club. Evil O looking to join him and become the three-time New York Giants champion. <clears throat> Third down and eight. Final play before the two-minute warning, barring a timeout or stoppage. He's going to pass. He's That's got a man that. open. That's McLaurin. Doesn't risk the hit. And just like that, we're at the two-minute warning. And here's the problem for Matt G. He also... Not only has to get the stop, he's got to keep Evil O out of field goal range. Yeah, and right there, if you're Matty G, that was just bad user. He was, you can't get much more open than that with this high level Madden. And right there, might have just sealed it for Evil O. That inside God, zone dude, puts him at the 33, and all he has to do now oh, is run the ball and God. take his field goal, and he's going to go so to possession. So if you're Matty G, that, that third down right there on that slant, you can't give that up, and Evil O is in complete control. Evil O looking at James Matty G's name to Matty GG. With one first down. Ty, looking back at your first live event experience, not just in the clubs, your first live event experience ever. What, you know, what what can Matty G take away from this game? I mean, again, you never know what'll happen, but if he doesn't come out on top in this one, what can he take away from this entire experience? Yeah, I mean, it's a learning experience. You can't get you can't get better, but unless you're in these type of spots, you know what I mean. The pressure's on. You know, you, I'm honestly impressed by his game. He's a talented player. He really is. You see him. He's, he's in an eight-point game with a with a veteran for 12 years plus, and he's staying in the game. His defenses look good. He's, he's adjusted to these runs. His offense is held back a little bit, but he, but he had some good route combos. But, yeah, I Let's definitely go. think we'll see more of Matty G in the future. But big stop right there. Now Evil O can't even kick the field goal. He's going to go for it. Not over till it's over. Minute 24 to go. Can Evilo pick up 10 or will Matt G get a guap drive? Big play. 
Corn in motion. Culpepper. Bag. Waiting, Come looking. On. There's no, no one there. Taking the late Let's shot. Let's go, man. Come on. And it's Get an seven. incomplete pass. And Matt G with a defibrillator. On, He's got Come light on. and opportunity to drive down and tie this game up. The kid is a fighter. We had this. It was pretty much over. Evilo just literally could have took a knee. He could have ran a QB sneak, kicked his field goal. Instead, Matty G adjusts to the inside zone, blows it up in the backfield, and now he has life. Now look left side. That's McLaurin. Champ Bailey in coverage. McLaurin picks up a first down. And Nick, you know, I don't like to do this to people, but if you remember last year, the game Evilo versus Henry in the final 32, he had Henry beat. I mean, he was in control of the whole game, and he laid down at the end. I don't want to say that's happening again, but right there, crucial mistakes by Evil. Actually, he did use his final right, time out there, on. and he'll find Darren Waller, the Oakland Raider. Now Las Vegas Raider oh, to the 32-yard line. Clock running down inside 47 seconds. The kid might be clutch. Clock's working against him, though. He's cooking up a route combo. <clears throat> Allen on first and 10. Trying to step left, looking for A. It's not there. He'll throw it late to Bush, but it's in the middle of the field. This runoff's going to be big. Yeah, he's got to spike it. I like the play call. Right there, I probably would have just maybe threw it away. I don't know. That's a tough kind of a useless play. You got about eight yards, but so much time ran off. So now third down. If you don't get the first down here, you can't spike it again. I think I don't even think you can spike it in general. There's 19 seconds or so. So he's got to really go to the sidelines or go to the end zone. You can't get tackled inbounds. It's going to be close. You know, Evil O's going to be dropping all those zone drops back, looking to hold everything in front of him. 19 seconds remain on the clock. Matt G down 14 to 6. Rolling out with Allen. There's nobody there. It's double covered across the board. He'll throw this one away. Yeah, great defense by Evil. We've seen it all game long. Just that coverage defense, nothing open. And here we go, ladies and gentlemen. This is your ball game. Matty G, the youngster, 23 years old, his first MCS major. Fourth and two, down eight. I, you got to go to the end zone. This has got to be a deep kind of corner route, crossing route, maybe even a streak, something deep and towards the end zone. Doesn't even look like he's thinking about just picking up the two. Pressure picked up nicely. He's going to throw it to the end zone. It's a high run on squad away from oh, Evil Oak, and he will be oh, your three-time Giants oh, Club champion. Game. Oh my God. Defense, defense, and more on, defense, and you see the emotion from the veteran. Evil O fired up. His defense won in the game. He almost made some costly mistakes on offense, but he does just That's enough, three. and he is the three-time Giants Club champion. Matt G, what a fight. But at the end of the day, it is EMB's Evil O, 14-6 TD. Maybe a little sweatier at the end than he'd like, but at the end of the day, he is still the three-time champion. Put some respect on this man's name. He's been doing it 13 years, a three-time champion. He is a legend in the game. And, man, what a win. Defense does it for Evil O. Yeah, you talk about that defense. That really was the difference. Remember, this game started off with a stop by Matty G, but Evil O, ever since that stop, seemed to find a little bit of groove offensively, but mostly was able to hold Matt G to only some field goals. Yeah, and you know, that's the formula Evil kind of likes. You know, he's not the best offensive player. He kind of <laughs> puts himself in some tough spots sometimes, but his defense always gets it done, and he's a smart, savvy veteran. He gets the job done. He's a three-time champion. Yeah, for Matty G, first live final experience. TD, you said this is all about a learning experience. This is somebody who I think we'll see in future live finals. Oh, yeah, I think this kid is talented. He, he looks good on defense. He gets got to look, prove a little bit better on offense, but he's stuck around in the game, and I do think that he'll take a lot from this and get better moving forward. Well, let's bring in the now three-time New York Giants champion, Evil O, with the win. You know, Evil O, three-time champ, that's absolutely amazing. And, you know, you said that this was important for you guys as a crew, for EMB, getting back on the right track. What does this mean for the confidence level, especially with three more guys to go, just to get some of that, that mojo going the right way? It means a lot to me. I mean, at the end of the day, what I, uh, what I set out to accomplish, I had – you know, what I think is the best offensive player in the world. And Tony, I have joke. I have the mad scientist. I call him VY. All these guys that have helped me so much uh, throughout this process, even down to Kerry, little man. Uh, honestly, this means more to me for them than it does me. They have babied me this entire way. And uh, I couldn't ask for better people around me. And uh, it means everything to me. 
Congrats, Evil. Talk to me, man. 13 years in the game. You know, we talked about on the on the call, you feel like you don't get the respect you deserve. You've won tournaments forever now. You, you know, yeah. you and Little Man probably the only ones still doing this this long. Just talk to me. And do you feel like, you know, what, this cements your status, a three-time champion? Uh, yeah, I think – I don't think many have done this. I heard before the game that people were surprised uh, that I'm here. I'm not surprised, not even in the least. Uh, I speak it into existence every time it happens. Good contest, bad contest. I make it happen. Uh, I usually get a text from Tony. Just find a way out. You know, it's never going to be pretty, but somehow, some way, I find a way out. And today, I found my way out. And to be honest with you, I think it does cement me. Uh, honestly, I told these guys if, if I lost this game, that would be it. To be honest, and uh, I'll be back for four. But right now, that's three. <laughs> and you're still alive. For that $150,000 top prize. It's no accident to see Evilo as your three time Giants Club champion. Congrats, man. We can't wait to Thank watch you, you in January. Awesome. Thank you guys what so a, much. What a battle here in the Giants Club.